Thanks for joining me on episode 1269 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. I'm Rob Berger, author of Retire Before Mom and Dad. I encourage you to find your own journey to true financial freedom. And one way to be inspired to do that is by listening to this, the Inspired Stewardship Podcast with my friend, Scott Mater. Practice these eight steps. Work on them over and over again. And by the way, it never really ends because you always find new things that you need to change in your life. There's always a new challenge, a new battle, something else that you need to change. So it's okay if you discover that you get to a certain point and then you need to do it again. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's episode about developing your influence through stewarding your talent, I talk with you about why mindset is so important for achieving your goals in the new year. I share what mindset really is, and I share eight steps that you can use to change your mindset. You've heard me talk about developing your talent, and one of the best ways to do that is through books. But if you're like most people today, it's hard to find the time to read. And that's why today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Go to inspiredstewardship.com slash audible to sign up and you can get a 30-day free trial. There's over 180,000 titles to choose from and you can pick one and listen your way to developing your talents via Audible. That's inspiredstewardship.com slash audible to get your free trial and listen to great books the same way you're listening to this podcast. So often we think of changing our mindset as something important, but something really hard. The idea is taking what's in our brain and resetting it or rewiring it to look at the world a new way. There's surveys that say that 92% of people say that they don't reach their goals. And a large part of that, they say, is because of the way their mind works against them. Their mindset works against them. So changing your mindset is often important to getting things done. There's a correlation between mindset and the ability to achieve your goals every single time. People often are really good about setting goals or resolutions as we come to the end of the year and the beginning of next year. People look forward and say, I want to get things done. And yet, following through on that is often where the problem is. It's not setting the goals alone. It's having the determination, the confidence, the mindset to follow through on that. Your mindset is basically defined as a way of thinking that determines your behavior and your outlook. In other words, it's the way you look at the world. And do you have this kind of no matter what mindset? Do you have a positive mindset? Do you have a growth mindset? Do you have a negative mindset or a victim mentality mindset? There's this long list of different ways that we look at the world. And we often think of those as fixed in some way. This is the way it is. And yet the truth is you can change the way you look at the world. It doesn't necessarily change the world. It doesn't change what happens. It doesn't change our environment or our surroundings, but it does have an effect on how we respond to those things. And that response is so important to achieving your goals. It's so important to actually doing what you set out to do and following through on it. So I want to walk through an eight-step process that you can use if you've decided that you want to change your mindset. In fact, that's the first step, acknowledging that you can and want to change your mindset, getting comfortable with the idea that your mindset, your view of the world is something that you can change and 
there's a reason to change it. You've decided that you have a, a reason to change your mindset. Not somebody else has decided for you, but you've made the decision for yourself and you've accepted that as something that you want to do. The second step, get a, an understanding of your current beliefs, your limiting beliefs, your thoughts and perspectives that you have about yourself or about your environment, or about the world around you. Things that you believe, either from self-made internal beliefs or externally made beliefs that you've been told by others over and over again, and identify the ones that are holding you back. What are the beliefs you have about yourself or about the world that is holding you back? By the way, it doesn't matter if you believe these things are true or you don't believe they're true yet. At this point, identify those beliefs and then begin to identify one or two of those that you want to work on changing. You want to test and see, are they true or are they not true? And it, how can I set about to begin to change them into something else? So the next step is to begin to work on your inner monologue. We've talked before about that the fact that most of us have an inner voice or an inner view that speaks to us in some way, either with pictures or with words, and tells us very negative things about ourselves. Identify the negative self-talk that's tied to those limiting beliefs, and then begin to shift it. So write down those negative thoughts, write down those limiting beliefs, and then on the other side of the paper, change them into positive statements or positive beliefs or positive things that you believe. And then begin to read those each and every day, the positive ones, not the limiting ones. Begin to program your mind that when you think that thing like, I'm stupid, you immediately answer with, I'm really not. I'm not actually stupid. Or when you think, there's no possible way I can do this, you instead think, Perhaps I can. I haven't even tried yet. In, in conclusion, begin to shift those limiting beliefs into enabling truths. Begin to shift those negative thoughts into positive thoughts. The fourth step, begin to dream a little bit. Identify what you want your life to look like. What do you want your future to look like? I joke all the time that the best question you can keep asking yourself is, what do I want to be when I grow up? I don't care how old you are. I don't care where you are in your life. What do you want the next phase of your life to look like? What's the current target for where you want to go? Begin to dream and paint a picture of that and write it down. Create a story about what you want your life to look like in five years, in two years, in three years, in one year, and begin to write that down into narrative of Paint a picture that is clear, not just to you, but to the other people around you of what you want to look like in the future. Earlier, we talked about identifying those limiting beliefs and those thoughts that come into your head that are negative. At this point, too, you want to begin to practice flipping the switch. So you want to begin to identify not just the statement or the thought that you believe, but where is it coming from? What starts you down that road? What things happen in your environment, what things happen in your world, what things happen in your mind that begins to trigger that narrative that's a negative thought? Where did it come from and what triggers it in your head? Because then you can begin to work on removing some of those triggers as well. Because at that point, if you found out, for instance, having a messy environment triggers negative thoughts, well... Now you can work to keep your environment clean and organized. When you identify triggers, in some cases, you can flip those triggers to reprogram yourself into a more positive outlook. The sixth step, begin to take baby steps. Forget about trying to change everything. Just begin with the smallest step that moves you in that direction, preferably something physical in some cases. If you've been procrastinating about getting to inbox zero, just get rid of 10 e in emails in your inbox. Just take a small step in that direction. Because if you begin to do that each and every day, you'll begin to make progress on the goal. It's okay to do a small step 
in that direction. The seventh step, realize that failure is not only okay, it's actually necessary and normal to have mistakes and to have failure. Instead of trying to avoid it, begin to embrace it and say, this is something that happens in my life. It's not negative. Everyone fails from time to time. And it's okay for me to just move forward again and do something different. The eighth step, the last one, practice gratitude. Find a way to spend 10 or 15 minutes every single day identifying three things that you're grateful for. And keep doing that, but don't report, repeat those things. Find something new each and every day that you can be grateful for. Do that for a month and then repeat it. Because the truth is, you will find that there's always more in your life that you can be thankful for than you might believe. Practice these eight steps. Work on them over and over again. And by the way, it never really ends because you always find new things that you need to change in your life. There's always a new challenge, a new battle, something else that you need to change. So it's okay if you discover that you get to a certain point and then you need to do it again. But if you do it over and over again, you will find yourself beginning to improve, beginning to actually achieve your goals. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you like this episode on the stewardship of talent, you can go over to inspiredstewardship.com slash talent and sign up for our five-week series on the stewardship of talent. Or if you're in the U.S., you can text 44222 talent tips. That's talent tips to 44222 and get those tips. Until next time, invest your time, your talent, and your treasures. Develop your influence and impact the world.